Locke, we just received word. Point L has been destroyed. The assembled forces wiped out. There's nothing left. It's all up to you now. Find a way into that hive and destroy it if you can. Hello Sparky42, we are back with another mission, this is Hive Catacombs. This time, this is with commentary, this time. Now, you already know at the start, we're inside one of these hives, which is, the, which is one of the catacombs, and immediately you will be greeted by four Invid soldiers with shields. If you saw them with the uh, mission 3 and 4, Obviously the one with no commentaries. That's what you're going to be facing with for most of the time for this mission. So basically the first thing I really tend to do when I first start going through this, since most of it this is easy, I go ahead and try to take a few shots at them, try to go for their heads. Because there is a open spot of a gap where you can hit them and you'll get a lot of extra damage for it. So you will. Be, so there is a couple dead soldiers right there. You will see, and there will be a wolf auto pistol on the ground. Now you can pick that up as you want, but we're going to be focusing on the gauntlet for the most of the time. So as you start moving on through the darkness of the catacombs, which will be using your night vision at the time, you will be seeing two more soldiers on the ground or on patrol, just waiting. Now, most of the time, like, if you want to make a, don't pick up any health chop. Now, for the most of the time, if you want to do a challenge of no health pickup challenge, this will be one of the tactics to do it. Curious that he comes here. What does he hope to achieve? His presence here will not be tolerated. Eliminate him. Alright, the next thing you're gonna find, you're gonna find some soldiers in a couple spots. Now what I usually do is I still do the same techniques. If you get a lock on, then it will probably be easier for you. But I try to go on one platform at a time. And then try to see if there's a soldier that is like waiting on one of the corners. So, which is exactly what I did. I managed to get a headshot there and I move on to the next platform. And I don't see anything there. I don't see anything there, so I'm just gonna jump another platform ahead. And now we got another one nearby. So as you start making your way towards down, do the same technique. One platform at a time, check if there's a soldier nearby in one of the corners. And if you don't see one, then go ahead just hop down through another platform. So as you can see with me changing off the night vision on and off, you can tell a tremendous difference. There is some lighting, but most of the time you're going to have a hard time seeing. So keep that in mind while you're going through this. So now once that's all clear you can hop on down, there is some health if you wanted, but since we have not taken any health damage right now, we're okay at this point. And now here we are with another set of these platforms and here we are right here. So do the same technique like you did from the last time, Work, start working your way towards one platform at a time, check it for any soldiers nearby you and you'll be good from there. Now I'm somehow I got lucky with this jump, I survived this jump but 
But for most of the future reference, please don't do what I did because that was almost completely stupid that I almost died at that point. But luckily that didn't happen. So we could just move on and survive. So once you start so once you do make way down, as you saw there's the two soldiers and there'll be two more falling behind you. The simple take them out, try to get their heads in a vulnerable spot. Don't do like a rapid auto file, do like a little bit of burst so you can have like enough ammo to save. So once that's clear, move on. And then you find two more soldiers that just walk through that gate or that door. And since they're probably not just not doing anything, you can just hit them out quickly, easily. Now for these, for these eggs, now with night vision I know they get a little bit bright, so what I tend to do with these eggs once I get to here, not only just shoot them just to break them down, I turn the night vision off for a good couple of reasons. One, so not only that uh, you have a very good chance of like seeing a good picture if there's like one behind it, and secondly, so it could help make things how many are there easier other than the night vision. So there will be so after that happened, four soldiers will come by. And as soon as I took out three, the fourth one decides to go back. And I was trying to take it down. So it will stop bothering you after you kill like three of them. So and that will just go away after that. There is some health and probably some bullets there if you wanted but obviously we're not going to use the auto pistol for this mission so after you got what you need move on and head to the next part now you'll be greeted once again with two soldiers so like typical by range like if you were doing a no no health pickup challenge just take them out from that far and you're good from there and now you be seeing more eggs right there so the same thing like I told like I said from the first one try to turn the night vision off so you can have a better chance to look even though it's dark but it's probably gonna be helpful Now as soon as you hear this music begins, this is where most of the fun begins. So this is a lot of these eggs here that's like all around the place. So one of the things I did tend to do when I did first when I got to this point is turn the night vision off and try to go for most of these eggs first. And so that could just help make things a little bit easier for you instead of making it longer. And uh, one of these took a little bit longer than I anticipated, like this one here. It, it took it down eventually, but it took me a lot of shots to get this one out. So, like usual with the eggs, once you see them, take them out. But now we got soldiers involved, which we will get to in a minute.
Ah, there we go. Now it's broken down. There are there are some at the bottom right here too. So now, once you start moving up towards this bridge, you might want to look it to your left up on the high side. Turn your night vision on. So it might be easy for you to get across. And you can see it right up here. There is a soldier. I did got him to the point where I got him to turn to look at me. But I feel like if I still want to get a good enough damage, you have to get him to react to where he actually shoots at you. Which I did, and I got a headshot out of that, so that was, was good. You can see another one right there, and I think I put some hits on it, but I feel like I, it wasn't doing anything. So I wasted, I think I wasted a lot of shots doing this part, but I'm not entirely sure, so let's see. Oh, he's down. Alright, nice. Yep, he's down, and then there's one on the right. I finally managed to get a lock on sight, so now it might be easier for you to try to move the right hand on that stick, or you could try to get the headshot going. So now you have a couple soldiers right over there. You could probably could tell where they are based on where they're going to be firing at. So, I did manage to get them down there. There is some a couple soldiers like down on this platform, like on this floor right below me. He shows no regard for the sanctity of our own. His defiance must be punished. You know what you need to do. So a couple more soldiers will come out of that room, but you will also get a big dude that will also be part of this as well. It's only just one big dude that's throughout the course of this mission here which is that guy right there and just a couple and just a couple additional soldiers right here to worry about too So once you feel like you think this is safe to drop, you safely drop down. Just don't touch the floor that is like looks like poison. Because I think that's a insta kill on you if you accidentally step on it. And what it does it will make you go to last checkpoint. So make sure you don't fall through there. A health pack of bullets if we need if you need any and of course we don't need either plus a wolf auto pistol was sitting right here but we don't need that as well either so once you're ready to move on across this here and you're good from there and then once you clear turn back your night vision on so you can see and move on to the next to the next part now two more soldiers will be coming by through here. The same techniques once you meet them like off a close encounter. If you're doing a no health challenge, if you want to make that challenge yourself, just hit them with range and just let the damage do its thing. Your shields is one thing that you could, it could take damage. Health is another. And that's probably all the... He has breached the inner chambers. 
And that's all the soldiers you have to face throughout the day. And I think and I guess if the way how you saw the background right there you remember the spiders that was in episode 4 that was sucking down the power? Well, a new change of twist. Now, it sucks off your energy. These guys are fast and quick, so you have to react fast or else they will... Almost like normal spiders, they will eat you alive. And I think they just respawn back after like its first way so what I just did is I just avoid them and since they're just gonna sit there I decide it's not worth to fight them anymore so after that just move on and here you are you're almost to the end part of the mission there's a couple more spiders right there and easy to take out all good from there I should take pity on you. <laughs> but then again, pity isn't one of my strong suits. So when that was being placed, you have no time to react and fight everybody, fight what's going on right above you. Now I got a little lost there because I was trying to fight a platform, but the only thing is, is just try to get out of there. You will probably encounter a few spiders here and there, but, but most of the time just run and get out. And once you enter the cutscene, it will be the end of the mission. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all. This will be another no commentary video for the next one. I'll see you all in the next video.